What's up guys, Mig back here with another video for Fear MC Gaming. Today I'm going to be doing a redstone tutorial, a little bit more of an advanced type of redstone work, uh, working with binary code, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an encoder. Now, just to start off, an encoder is pretty good at running multiple bus lines and kind of bringing them down into a very small amount of bus lines. Um, we're going to be using binary code, uh, which is what this is actually going to encode our signals into. Um, four lines, four bus lines here can actually equal up to 15 different values. Um, we're only going to do 10 just for the sake of showing you guys today. And then maybe at a later video I'll show you the decoder. And, and for those that don't know what binary is or want to know some information, please feel free to leave in the comment section and maybe I'll do a tutorial on that too. But just to show you what this does, um, when we hit a value, this one I've set as 1 here, turn it on, sends the value down, and that turns on number 1. This is 0, by the way. And the beauty of this is, is that we can take any of these 10 different values and turn them on, and it'll show up down at the end here, all through four bus lines. Which, if you're doing stuff like my battleship, for example, it helps out a lot. Instead of having to run 10, 15 different lines down there, you only have to run four. Or, depending on how many you're doing, just depends on how many bus lines you have to do. So, let's go ahead and show you guys what we have to do. So, let's go ahead, and I'm just going to work with five values, just to give you the basics here, and I don't want to make this too long. Um, we're going to take those values, and we'll go ahead and put our hit our levers on here and just turn them all on because they do have to stay on and then we bring these up like this all the way around and we'll give myself a little juice here to speed up the process this is going to make it more efficient for you to run lines down it's going to make it so that you have less chances of the redstone glitches the infamous ghost wire um, it, it's all around just going to be a really helpful type of bus running when, you own, when you're doing just massive size projects. Alright, so these are going to be our five different values. You're going to run redstone on the top of them. That's always on. And this is actually what we're going to consider an off status, and I'll show you why here in a second. But when we're actually looking at setting the value on, these will turn off. So, you know, however you invert the signal or however you run it in, I expect that if you're working with binary, you're pretty much going to know what to do in that kind of stuff already. So now you're going to run your bus lines down. Now with five values, we're only going to need three lines. We're going to call them bit bits. Um, this one's going to be, it's always easiest to make this the most insignificant bit. So it'll be equal to one, the smallest value. Like I said, if you don't know about binary, may not make all the sense but you can still use this process so that's going to be one two oh, i'm going to need to make these one more large or one larger three and let me go ahead and build these out now this is going to be four down here right in this spot all right and then five okay so these are going to be your values here. Simple as that. That is your encoder. We get your redstone on the bottom. And is each value that you turn on, which I'll show you here in a moment once I'm done running this, it's going to turn on coded values of it. So 5, for example, it's going to turn on these two, and so on and so forth. Now, you can only run one value down at a time. You're not going to be able to run multiple values down. If you do so, you may get the wrong, the wrong value coming out. But that's it, guys. That's an encoder. It's going to help out a lot if you're big. If you're running a big redstone project, um, for example, my battleship or Yahtzee, uh, it's going to help if you're looking at doing any kind of addition, which I can also do some tutorials on adders later on if you guys want me to. But it's going to do just. It, it's going to take your redstone level just up a peg and and really be able to make it so that you can create some really cool stuff. Anyhow, guys, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you checking it out. If you need anything else, let me know in the comments section. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll throw up a lot more tutorials here. 